Hello ladies and gentlemen, Holotide here, and today I want to talk about the elephant in the room with Halo and content creation and all this other stuff, and that is how basically a lot of people are upset about how the Forgers are not being compensated for their time and effort, their blood, sweat, tears that they're putting into making these maps um, and having them put into the official matchmaking to not get anything other than a coding and a visor i think now a lot of people will say you know back in the day it was just you know super cool to have your stuff featured and stuff and i get that but times have changed there are many games that will pay creators and stuff for their content i think i saw one dude tweet about warframe and how he's made fifty thousand dollars in a year off of two skins in that game you know fortnite has all their stuff going on and I don't know if there's like a budget for this kind of thing. You know, if 343 or Microsoft can, you know, give somebody 500 bucks to finish a Forge map. But like the thing is, I, I, I have a lot of thoughts about it because it's like, you know, I don't get paid by 343 or Microsoft to make Halo content. I make Halo content because I like Halo. But really, it's like free advertising for them. You know, I get however many thousands of views each month off of Halo stuff and... You know, I'm not asking 343 to pay me or anything like that. Because I'm not really providing content to the game. I'm just making videos. But with how Infinite is currently going and I guess where it's, you know, projected to go, a lot of the, the content seems to be Forge made by community members, not by, you know, another studio. And, you know, we just had our first map put into the HCS ranked stuff with uh, the rig remake. Side note, I know a lot of people are complaining about, like, the colors and the aesthetic of that map, but I actually really like it. I think it's cool because it is, like, a cold, tundra. I, I think we needed more snowy kind of maps. I wish there was more snow on the map. I don't know if that's a thing in Forge, but if they could add some, you know, like, snow mounds or some icicles, I think that would go a long way into the vibes. But these guys and girls are making this stuff, you know, on their own time, probably after they have like a part-time job, full-time job, school, school and part-time job, family life, I, I don't know. And it just stands to reason that they should be compensated a little bit more for their time rather than just given an armor coating, which I'm not going to lie, I would love to have that, but I'm never, I'm not good enough. I'm not smart enough. That's the thing too, is like the majority of, you know, people who use Forge or are like me who have absolutely no idea what they're doing in Forge. You have this upper echelon, these top 0.1% of people who can make maps that are, can be used in the official game. We're getting the uh, zombie mode from Forge Falcons, I believe, into a combat workshop playlist. And like how I, that should, there should be something else in terms of like, monetary value pay for them to come out to the you know the world championships for hcs you know pay for their plane ticket play for their their lodging give them a meal ticket thing you know a stipend honestly to me that would probably be worth it in fact i think that i will tweet about that also if you don't follow my twitter i post great memes link is down in the description but I will always advocate for the community. You know, these companies, these corporations, they make billions of dollars off of, you know, people buying microtransactions and codings. So when they're in a, I guess, predicament, like kind of what Halo Infinite is right now, we don't really get that many dev-made maps. We haven't gotten new weapons. We haven't gotten new vehicles. We've gotten a couple new equipment. But when, like, the, the sole real content is maps, you know, made by the Forge community, I think something needs to be done. I think there needs to be a show of goodwill, and I think that they need to come up to the present standard that other companies have, have done. That's just my two cents. Please let me know in the comments down below. I read all the comments. Please be respectful. If you enjoyed this video, if you agreed with it, leave a like. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. We're grinding way towards 15,000 subscribers. I would love to hit that this year. It's already the end of April, though, so I don't know. But I will catch you around the ring. Peace!